How's it going you guys? New Age here with episode 8 of our live Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot Battles. And our current record is, I believe it's 8 wins, 13 losses. Yeah, 8 wins, 13 losses. So, uh, we gotta do something. Because we're falling behind. And we can't be falling behind. We gotta keep it close. Otherwise, there's no point in watching. Because we're just so far behind that we just can't even make up for it. So, today... We're bringing some some strong stuff here. Uh, basically, I said yesterday I was gonna stop using uh, mono type teams just because it does not work out on battle spots. So I decided I'm gonna start using some megas that I haven't tried yet because there's still plenty of megas that I haven't used and plenty of megas that are waiting to be used. And today, that mega is Glade. Now, uh, Glade. I like it because it has so many different options for moves that it can have. I wanted, I almost wanted to bring like a whole team of Glades with just like different move sets, but then they wouldn't all be able to make a ball, so I only brought one. So uh, I also put a little bit of thought into this, just a little bit though. Um, so Glade has uh, its Sword Stance, Drain Punch, Shadow Sneak, and Knock Off, so all kinds of supportive while at the same time, you know, killing things kind of set. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got Fur Fruit also, so it can like take ghost hits, I guess, for Gallade. Even though I wouldn't really want to switch it in on like a Gengar or something, because then I can't I can't do anything back other than like paralyze. And then uh, we got Talonflame. Uh, what I put Talonflame in there for? Talonflame, I think, to take uh, fighting for Fur Fruit and Tyranitar, as well as uh, other flying hits. So that was cool. Uh, Trevenant there to also take um, fighting as well as normal immunities. So little immunities going on there as well as some grass immunities to certain moves. Uh, Tyranitar I put in for ghost types uh, since Gallade is weak to ghost also. So we got we got a little bit of stuff for certain Pokemon. Um, also to take fire type moves for Trevenant. And then uh, Charizard I put in to take fire type moves as well to take fighting type moves as well as to take ground type moves so uh, it is it does have a uh, Charizard X stone I don't plan to Mega Evolve but if I have to if uh, that may be better off than Mega Evolving Gallade I'll go ahead and do that then keep keep them on their toes so to speak so we're gonna find ourselves a battle and uh, we'll see how things go we'll see how things go today I would I would like to win three for once three for three has that happened yet no if we do it'll bring us up to a nice solid 11 so we're going up against scissor garchomp ronin watch porygon 2 volcarona and gliscor so honestly i'm just glad to see a team that doesn't have shadow tag uh granted the bulky is going to be a problem um we actually can do really good against this team as long as we don't get burned if we could set up Gallade, we could be pretty solid here. So speaking of getting burned, I definitely need to bring Trevenant. Because it can eat up burns all day long and just be fine. As well as any other kind of uh, hazard. I don't have anything for Gliscor. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, hmm. Town Flame? No. I, I mean, of course I'm bringing Gallade. Um, I need more... I guess Talonflame is good because I'm pretty sure it could like one shot Volcarona. It's got Sharp Beak. Trevenant has a Lumberry. I think I'll actually start off with Trevenant and see if I could take out Rodham and bring it in later. Uh, I am aware that Talonflame is weak to Electric and Water, but so is Charizard. Tyranitar won't be able to touch Rodham, especially if I get burned, and Furfru's special defense is just not there, so. We're, we're bringing what we got. I didn't think about bringing anything for Rodham, so that sucks. But uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Trevenant can definitely wear down Rodham. No sweat. Leech Seed, Burn, all that. That's not Rodham. Alright, so we're going up against Garchomp first. Um... I'm gonna go straight for a leech seed instead of a burn. Um, he might actually be trying to set up stealth rocks. But I'm gonna go for that in case he wants to switch. So it does have fire fang. 
which we should be able to take well. Yeah, so we don't take too well. Uh, that's because it is life orbed. So let me see how much it did. I don't know if we could take another one. What's our HP at? Show me first. <clears throat> 70. So it did. 61. It did 91. So we could actually take one more. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, Fire Fang. I should just barely survive. What? <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess it was high roll, low roll, all that good stuff. Uh, so that sucks really bad. It really does. Um, if it has Rock Tomb, that's going to be bad. So I'm not even going to bother with that. I am just going to go out into Gallade. So I do know it's Life Orb now. Um, I'm actually going to try and knock it off if I can. Because I don't want any part of that. A Life Orb Earthquake might even kill me, honestly. So this is going to suck. I, I don't think we have this one. If Trevenant would have just hung on, I could have. I could have. I just didn't want to go for uh, Will-O-Wisp because he had fire Pokemon to come in and take that and there's no way I'm taking an Outrage that's Life Orbs. Nope. So that's going to be a good game right off the bat. I already didn't win that one. I, I should just play it more risky and just go for it because otherwise things aren't going to happen. When you have three against three, that's not any time to play safe. You just have to go for what you're going to do. So, that's what has to happen. It's very, very unfortunate. So we do take out the guard trump here. Um, doesn't matter. Unless one of his Pokemon is Volcarona and another one is not Rodham, then there's no way we have the El Porygon too. Yep, that's not going to happen either. Um, especially if it has an electric move. I'm just going to go for Brave Bird, see how much it does. I mean, it, it should do a decent amount, but Porygon 2 normally carries an electric type move, so, and it doesn't even do a decent amount. So it actually goes for the Toxic. Um, I don't know if it's trying to stall me out or what, but I'm just going to keep throwing Brave Birds at this man, probably until I kill myself, because I'm not concerned with trying to win. Because I already know I don't got it. <clears throat> I already know when I lost a battle. People need to calm down with their stally tactics at the end. Yeah, see, you can go ahead, use recover. I'm just going to take myself out. You can stall me all you want, but in the end, I'm not even going to try and stay alive. Because we got bigger and better things to move on to. Let's see how much this does. And Toxic is pretty sure taking us out now. By this point. So that's going to be a good game. And we get to move on to the next battle. And hopefully play it better. I, I need to get this Glade off. So note to self, just go straight away for the burn. I mean, then again, none of his Pokemon had Flash Fire, but I also didn't want to have to switch or anything. Alright. So let's get up in this next battle. <clears throat> so it's going to bring our record to 8 wins, 14 losses, and we're just non-stop falling behind. Going to have to resort to some drastic measures soon. Going up against the guy whose current rating is at 15 exactly. So we're going up against Rodham, Hita, Zumarill, Jellicent, Glalie, uh, Superior, and Agron. Uh, so good news, Glade handles a lot of this team. I mean, it hits Agron and Glalie for super effective. Um, I've got Shadow Sneak and Knockoff for Jellicent. I guess that's why it's better to run Psycho Cut over 
knock off and drain punch because uh, then you don't really have anything to hit fairies. I have shadow sneak but that won't take it out I'm pretty sure. And he's got a mix between physical and non-physical Pokemon um, so probably not gonna bring Furfru. Talonflame should be good to bring here and and Trevenant. Um, yeah, I think I think I'll bring the same general team. Um, just the weakness to Rodham is gonna mess me up. Part of me wants to bring Charizard and and uh, Trevenant. Let's see, who has a higher attack? 133, 136, oh Charizard's still stronger, even without the priority. Um, I just feel like they're starting off with Rodham. I'm going to start off with Trevenant, and hopefully, uh, I mean even if I do start off with Trevenant, that doesn't really do anything against Rodham. It's not Rodham Wash, so I can't stall it out as well. Um, <clears throat> I may be potentially just sacking off Trevenant right here, which really sucks. I'll need to keep that in mind to bring more stuff for Rodham. I think that is Rodham. No, that's Azumaro. Okay, um, I can handle Azumaro. See, here's the thing. They could be switching predicting the Will-O-Wisp, but like I said, you just go for it. So let's just go for it. Let's go for Will-O-Wisp. Let's do it. And see, now they're going to withdraw and go into Rodham. And be just fine. Oh, they don't go into Rodham. Oh? Alright, Trevenant. Let's get this going. Thank you. Alright, so we get the burn on it. Um, I don't know if he's got a special attacking Aggron. But uh, I would like to take advantage of this. And try and set up my uh, Glade. So it is going to Mega Evolve. And I'm going to get the uh, Leaf Seed off on it, and then after that, I'm going to switch into Glade. And try and get it set up. <clears throat> I don't know what it's trying to do, but it shouldn't do too much to me. Okay, so it sets up the Stealth Rock. Oh, is it one of the Roaring variants? Okay, so, I mean, my team is weak to Stealth Rock, but both my Flying Fire types have Roost, so that's something. Um... I'm actually going to go for Shadow Claw, just to see if it's going to try and roar me out. Yep, so used roar. Hopefully it goes into Glade. I'm not going to try and set up, just because uh, it's obviously going to use roar. But it will give me a chance to get my Mega Evolution off, uh, without having to worry about doing that later. And I can potentially just take this thing out. Yeah, a Drain Punch should do it. Unfortunately, that means I don't get to set up later, which really sucks. So we're going to Mega Evolve, and his first Pokemon was uh, Azumaro. So that's going to be bad too. Um, Gallade can't really do anything against Azumaro. I mean, even if I had Psycho Cut, it wouldn't one-shot it, I don't think. So I am going to have to switch here. So next they got Jellicent. So that obviously has a ghost type move. And it could use Scald. I'm going to go for a sword stance and see what happens. Because I don't know what Jellicent commonly carries. I know it's got Scald. I know it could have Shadow Ball. Uh, it could be Specs. And it does end up carrying Will-O-Wisp. So that sucks. Um, fortunately for me, after using sword stance, that is going to bring me back up to normal with my uh where my health is at so that's something uh i think i'm gonna go for a sword stance again and see if i could even take a hit from this thing because i think i can one shot it with knockoff all right come on galade has pretty good special defense wow it mmm these people need to stop getting crits on me. I'm so tired of that. 
I was gonna say, Gallade has great special defense. There's no way that I should have done that much. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, so his first Pokemon was Azumarill, so we know nothing wants to come into a Will-O-Wisp, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed first, just so I could start getting health from this thing. And Trevenant can't die. Trevenant can't die. Because uh, otherwise I have nothing to take on Azumarill. But the good news is, uh, there's no way this Jellicent is gonna get through me. Leech Seed, Rest, and Lumberry. It can't even afflict me with any kind of status condition. Um, I'm gonna eat up Scalds. I should take a Will-O-Wisp fairly, or a Shadow Ball fairly well. Um, I think I'll just go for a Shadow Claw, see how much that does. We do end up being faster. And that wasn't even a crit. Shadow Claw has a high crit ratio. And it had a Citrus Berry, which is not even gonna matter. So let's see how much this does. This doesn't... Shadow Ball doesn't do much at all. Um, and I think we might actually be faster than Azumarill. So we should be pretty good uh, for when that comes in. And we do outspeed. So Shadow Claw is gonna... Oh, he's gonna switch Azumarill into a Shadow Claw? I don't think that was a good idea. Because already Azumarill is gonna have a hard enough time taking me on. Especially if I outspeed. So that one was a crit. Uh, but now I'm just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Hopefully I have speed. I think I might. Yeah, I do. And we hit the Will-O-Wisp, so that's that's good game. It, it's over. It's over. I should take that play rough just fine. I mean, not just fine. Okay, whatever. But uh, I can go ahead and use Rest, and I'll still be fine. And it's good to know that I outspeed both of his Pokemon. So... Jellison's dead next time it comes in. I can hit it with the Shadow Claw, and that's that's it. And this Azumarill is just going to end up wearing itself out. Especially because it can miss a Flare Rush, too. Wow. You need to not get crits like that. So, uh, I can go ahead and go for Rest again. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that, because Shadow, Shadow Claw won't kill it. Maybe on top of the burn, but I can't wait for the burn. I'll be dead by then. So we got all our health back. Now all we really have to do is make sure that we can get our Lumberry. Before this thing goes down, basically. And we do. We get on the next turn, so that's going to wake us up right now. And now I think a Shadow Claw might take it out. So, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go for Shadow Claw. As long as he doesn't get a crit, yeah, as long as he didn't get a crit, Play Rough wasn't going to kill me. Uh, and then Jellicent died next time he came out. So, that's one win that we got, at least. Some kind of good news right there. Oh, I didn't mean to save that. Okay. Whatever. I meant to click yes right here. Do I want to continue? Of course I do. In party, and since I always forget to push challenge, there we go. And now it's searching for a battle. So yeah, that's one of the things I didn't realize. Ronim is a pretty big weakness for this team. Uh, so hopefully we stop seeing those. Especially Ronim Heat. Alright. So we're going up against Gliscor, Scizor, uh, Shinshino, Jolteon, Volcarona, and Gramble. Uh, so let's see. Town Flame would definitely be good. Yeah, Town Flame hits Volcarona. It can outspeed Jolteon because of priority. I'm pretty sure it can one shot Minshino or Shinshino. And it has Flare Blitz for uh, Scizor. So, all kinds of good with Town Flame right there. I more just have to figure out who he's starting with. I could see Gliscor, Shinshino, or Jolteon. Um, that being said, Trevenant will be a good lead. Uh, I, I mean, Jolteon can carry Shadow Ball, but if not, El Electric Moves will be just fine. Uh, Shinshino, Bullet Seed I could take, Tail Slap can't hit me, and Rock Blast, I'm pretty sure I could take that just fine. And then last, uh, 
I don't see any reason why I shouldn't bring the lead. All he's got is the Gramble that's a uh, has could have play rough. But other than that, um, Gallade is pretty neutral to his team. I could bring Furfru, but Volcarona and Jolteon basically stop me from doing that, as well as Gliscor being able to poison me. I don't want any part in that. That'll just take Furfru down, no sweat. Alright. So, we're starting off with the Trevenant again. And, uh, let's see what they've got. So, they do start with the Jolteon. Um, I don't know if they're trying to hit me with Shadow Ball, if that's what they have. But I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed here. They are going to outspeed me, of course. It actually goes for a Toxic, which is uh, awesome because you can't, you just can't. Not my Trevenant. It's not happening. You can't status this man. So we are going to get the Leech Seed off, and that's going to be pretty cool. Um... I guess I could go for a burn. Go for a Will-O-Wisp, I don't see why not. Um, more damage. So it actually goes for a Volt Switch. So if they end up switching out into a, uh, a Pokemon that's not Volcarona, that'll be pretty sweet. Please be like Gramble. If it's Gramble, that would be fantastic. Because then Gallade doesn't even have to worry about that. Come on. And they do go out into Gramble. Okay, so, uh, come on now. Need you to land this with a Wiz Trevenant. Yeah, there you go. So, Gramble is nice and burned. I don't know if it's got a Lumberry. Nope. No Berry. So, uh, that's basically taking care of Gramble right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Leech Seed off on this thing, too. And, uh, I should be good for whatever it's trying to hit me with. I guess we could find out. So uh, it does have play rough, which that ends up not doing anything. It actually does a kind of a decent chunk. So I think I'm not going to try and set up Gallade right here. Because that's just not going to work out. Because um, I don't know how much the play rough is going to do. Part of me wants to switch out into Town Flame just because... For one, I can take the uh, player up, and two, I can stall him out even better, because uh, I have the priority roost. Because I, I more want to save Trevenant for uh, Jolteon, and since Jolteon used Volt Switch instead of uh, Shadow Ball, I, I'd have to assume it does not even have Shadow Ball. So, I actually think I can take out Jolteon with a Brave Bird, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I mean, if not, Trevenant will be fine against uh, both of his Pokemon. I don't know what his last one is, so hopefully... Oh, it doesn't take it out. Damn it. So hopefully I don't have to worry about that, because now Talonflame is gone. So I really hope it's not Volcarona, because that'll suck. Alright, so of course now I'm going to go back into Trevenant. Uh, if they want to switch, fine. I'm just going to get Leech Seed off on something. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And it does carry the Hidden Power Ice, even though it doesn't have Shadow Ball. Which, uh, that actually does quite a bit. I didn't check to see how much it did, because I didn't think it would do that much. But we are going to get a little bit of health back. I don't know if we're going to get enough back to take a Hidden Power Ice. Um, but I will go ahead and go for a rest. I don't think it did that much. Not enough to take me out. There you go. So it's going to bring us down to 16. And we're going to go ahead and go for a rest. We do have the Lumberry. So we'll just be nice and back at full health. And we're good to go. Again. Trevenin is definitely the, the MVP of this game right here. I don't know if Gallade could even be on the front. We didn't even get it to go off. That's more our fault, but still. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed. 
Oh, so it does stay in. I was thinking they might try and save it for later since it is so fast, but I mean, it doesn't matter. I have harvest. Like, I. And I have rest. I don't know why you would waste the time trying to even hit me like that. So I am poisoned. It doesn't matter. Uh, now, I think we might be seeing what their last Pokemon is. No, they do go back out into Gramble. Uh, so I can try and get a Leech Seed off on this thing too. And, uh, like we've established, I don't care about the poison. So we should be pretty good to go. Alright. And actually goes for Stone Edge. Uh, I guess trying to get a crit. If it is trying to go for Stone Edge, I think. You know what? I really want to try it and get Gulate going. I really do. So I think I am going to go ahead and just pull the switch over to Gulade. I could definitely take a Stone Edge, especially if they're burned and if they don't get a crit. I should be pretty good to go. So hopefully they keep that up. And they do actually go for a play rough. Wow. I can't believe it did that much. And it lowered my attack. Okay. Kind of done with Gallade right now. Gallade getting critted on. Gallade damn near dying from a play rough from a burned Pokemon. I don't know. Um... Part of me just wants to go for a Drain Punch. If it doesn't kill, well then, that's just too damn bad. I mean... Good lady, you're kinda, you're kinda lagging it right now. Uh, it does kill, so that's at least something we do get a little bit of health back. It had a Rocky Helmet? Are you serious? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen what its item is yet. Maybe I should use Knockoff. Nope. And their last Pokemon is in fact not a, uh, a Volcarona. And if I can outspeed, I can get plenty of health back. And I don't outspeed, so that's cool. Not really, though. Now part of me feels like I should have saved Glade, because it would have been good for uh, Shinshino. But we already established um, it's probably Choiced, honestly, um, if it went for Rock Blast, because Tail Slap and Bullet Seed would not be effective against Trevenant. So if it had to lock itself into anything, I'm sure it would have preferred that. So yeah, it is locked into lock Rock Blast, and it misses its first one while we hit Will-O-Wisp. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're good to go. So that's going to be another one for us, and you know what? I'm sorry, Gallade. I got to put Trevenant on the front of this one. It definitely put in the most work. Definitely put in the most work. So I'm going to go for a Leech Seed here. And the match was forfeited, so yeah, there was, there was nothing that was going to happen right there. So that's going to bring our record to 10 wins and 13 losses. So meaning in Episode 9... We may potentially be able to even things up if we could win all three. Um, I probably won't bring Mega Gallade. I'll probably bring someone else. I'll probably bring Mega Gallade at another time uh, when I do want to try it out again. But uh, next time, we'll be trying out a different Mega Pokemon. So if you're excited for that, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more, you could subscribe to my channel, New Age Steel, where I upload multiple videos every single day. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where I post first-hand information on when I upload videos to the channel. So until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching, and I'll see you guys next time.